Hi, I'm Teresa with Inplectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, we'll be looking at test sets. So let's get started. Spira offers multiple options for scheduling your testing activities. Let's look at our test cases on the list page. In our sample product here, we have four test cases. For a product this small, we most likely would just assign individual test cases to owners for execution. That could be done from the test case detail page or via bulk edit to the owner column here on the list page. However, for any product of a substantial size, you will want to use the test set feature. So let's demonstrate how to use test sets for packaging multiple test cases together for execution. We'll go to our test set area from the artifact menu. Test sets are also organized in a folder structure. So we can add a folder. And in that folder, I can use the new test set button here to create a new test set. I'll do save and new and create one more for my sprint two. Great. Now I can click on the link to go to the detail page. Scrolling down, we can access this test cases area and click the add button. Now we can filter or search or browse to add specific test cases to the set. Note that in this test case area, you can also reorder test cases to change the order of execution. And you can show and hide columns here as well to display different fields of the test cases. Now if we scroll to the top, we can enter some scheduling and assignment information. First, we'll schedule that for the Sprint 1. I'll assign these to myself, and I'll choose a plan date of Monday. Click Save. Spira supports both manual and automated testing. If this was an automated test set, you would identify an automation host here. There are also some additional scheduling options. You can schedule on a recurring basis, or if you're using CI, you might choose to schedule on a successful build. Now that I have this information saved, I'll move to my next test set and update those fields appropriately. Spire offers an additional option to assign test cases to test sets. For that, we can go back to our test case page. And using the release filter here, I can filter for my test cases for Sprint 2. And then using the Select All, I can use this Tools option, Add Test Set. Then I can find my Functional Test Release Sprint 2 Test Set and Spiral will confirm that the test cases have been successfully added. This addition method is particularly useful when you can use the filtering to identify a subset of test cases. For example, you might want to filter on the execution status for failures and select all of those to add to a set for rerun. Now, as I'm the owner of both the test sets, I can click on the My Page view and see those test sets appear in my assigned test sets widget. There's the first one with the two test cases for Sprint 1, and the second set with the four test cases for Sprint 2. To begin execution, I need only to press the play button. Thanks so much for watching this Spira test set video today. We have more Spira Explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. Check them out now.